Okay, so what I've done is just quickly draw a sketch then of what we're given and I'm going to put a few more details on it. So we're told that we've got this particle P of mass 0.5 kilograms and it's projected from this point A up the line of greatest slope AB of a fixed plane. And this plane is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. We're told that this distance AB is 2 meters and the particle P passes through this point B with a speed of 5 meters per second, which I've, as I say, added on. And the plane apparently is smooth from A to B. And what we've got to do is find the speed of projection, speed that it is projected from A. So I'm just going to mark that on then first of all. Let's say we call it U. So I have that as U meters per second up the plane. Now to do a problem like this, the way I'm going to tackle it is by energy considerations. There is another way, but uh, I mean you could try this at the end. I'll run through the alternative way, but I would certainly recommend this way by energy considerations. What we're going to look at is that as the particle goes from A to B, there's going to be a loss in kinetic energy. It's going to slow down. And at the same time, it's going to gain gravitational potential energy. So what we're going to say is that the loss in kinetic energy is equal to the gain in gravitational potential energy. So that would form the basis of our equation, okay, which we should be able to solve then for you. So let's start off by looking at that equation. Let's just set it up as the loss in kinetic energy, okay, Ke then, is equal to the gain in gravitational potential energy, GPE, all right? Now, when it comes to the loss in kinetic energy, knowing that kinetic energy is a half mv squared, then it's obviously got a lot more kinetic energy here than it has up here. It's going to be slowing down. So therefore, we start off with the kinetic energy at A, and that is going to be, as I say, half mv squared. So it's a half the mass, which we know is 0.5, and v squared, well, it's going to have to be u squared for that initial speed here. Okay, so that's our initial kinetic energy. Now we need to minus the kinetic energy up here. So that's going to be again half the mass, half m, 0.5, times v squared. v is the 5, so we've got 5 squared. Okay, so that's our loss in kinetic energy, and this is equal to the gain in gravitational potential energy. Now, for the gain in gravitational potential energy, if we take this level here to be zero, okay, let's just draw a dotted line across there, then our particle P has risen a distance from here up to here as it goes from A to B. And let's say that that height that it's gained is H. Now knowing that gravitational potential energy, the great gain in it is going to be mgh, we need to find that distance H. So I can do that by basic trigonometry. If we just draw that triangle out again, all right, we'll just do it across here. Okay, there's H got a right angle triangle, that's the 30 degrees. A is this point here, B is this point here. So we know that this distance, the hypotenuse, is two meters. So if we want to find the opposite side and we've got the hypotenuse, then we've just got to do the sine of 30 degrees because that compares the opposite side, H, over the hypotenuse which is 2. Rearrange this for h by saying that h equals 2 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees. 
sine of 30 degrees is a half so you end up with h equals two times a half which is one one meter okay so now we know then that the gain in gravitational potential energy is mgh so it's going to be m which we know is a half or 0.5 multiply that with g g is 9.8 and times it by h h is 1 okay so if we now clean up both sides here we've got half of 0.5 u squared so we therefore have 0.25 u squared work out this term here it turns out to be minus 6.25 and then you've got half times 9.8 times 1, so that's 4.9. Simply add 6.25 to both sides, and you've got 0.25 u squared then equals 4.9 plus 6.25. That comes out at 11.15. And now if we divide both sides by 0.25, you end up with u squared equals 44.6. Take the square root to get u to both sides, square root of 44.6. And if you do this on your calculator, you end up with u equaling 6.6783 and so on, which we could round, say, to two significant figures, and u would equal 6.7 meters per second to two significant figures, two SF. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea then how to go about that first part then to this question.